Okay, and we're off. We've got the Samsung Galaxy A50 on the left-hand side with the Exynos 9610. We've got the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite with the Snapdragon 660 on the right-hand side. Now, a quick lead, dare I say, a fraction of a second there lead by the A50, and there is also first into the 2048 test, so a fraction of a lead there by the Samsung over the Mi 8 Lite. Now, of course, we will get into the specs of these phones in a minute, but they are both mid-range devices, so we're not going to be seeing the same kind of speed that we see from the flagship devices. But now, at the moment, we have a slight lead there by the Galaxy A50. Now, next coming up is the SQL Lite test. Oh, and look at that. That's really quick there on the... Oh, look at that. Finished already on the uh, A50. Absolutely amazing. But look at this on the right-hand side. The SQL Lite test is taking so long. It's like treacle running down a spoon. This is terribly slow. And because of this now, the A50 is one clear test ahead. It's already into the 2D gaming test, while the uh, Mi 8 Lite is still into the 3D cubes. Now, we've just got the specs here on the screen. So the Exynos 96 10 is a octa-core processor with four quarters a73 four quarters a53 and the mali g72 mp3 gpu now that will come into play when we get to the unity test in a moment then we've got six gigs of ram and 1080 by 2340 now also the mi 8 Lite is also an octa-core device four quarters a73 the same four quarters a53 but now we've got the adreno 512 now as we're saying that the a50 has gone into the unity test and so there's certainly got a few seconds lead now over over the Mi 8 Lite. Now it's also now going into the Unity test and now we really are seeing the Mali G72 MP3 against the Adreno 512. Which one is going to win? Will the Adreno be able to claw back some of that space, some of that losses that it had in the SQL Lite test over the uh, Mali G72 MP3? Now both devices have a fairly similar uh, screen resolution so that really shouldn't come into play. Both devices have got the same amount of RAM. Both devices have got that octa-core setup. So really at this point here we're just looking at Mali Mali versus Adreno, Mali G72 MP3 versus Adreno 512. Now, of course, you know with the Mali, you can actually put a different number of cores in there. That's up to each OEM what they do. This is an MP3 in this particular case. You can have an MP4, you can have an MP8, you can have an MP10. And really, Samsung have chosen in the Exynos 9610 to put in an MP3. Now, it looks to me as if the Adreno 512 is actually ever so slightly catching up. It's just a little bit behind at the moment, but it's certainly closer than it was. Look at them both coming down to the statue now. And now we see this castle scene and both of them are struggling a bit, but it looks to be neck and neck at the moment here. Really, the Adrena has really caught up all of that losses that the, the processor had because of that SQL Lite test, they really are neck and neck here. Going down to this castle scene, which always is quite hard for some of these processors. Who's going to get out first? Oh, wow. I really couldn't say I would give it just to the Galaxy A50 there by a hair. Now we come to the compression test. We've got seven on the screen, eight on the screen. Who's going to get in there first? Nine on the screen. Who's going to get there first with the 10? I do believe it was the Mi 8 Lite, but look at that. The 90, uh, 9610 also came through three minutes each on the nose, absolutely amazing, neck and neck right to the very end there. So there you have it, my name's Gary Sim, this is Gary Explains, I do hope you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, okay, I'll see you in the next one.